A Hamas plot to kill Jews in Europe has been thwarted by police who uncovered the terror group's alarming change of tactics. Seven suspects were arrested during raids in Germany, Denmark and the Netherlands, with the Danish Prime Minister describing the plot as being as serious as it gets. German prosecutors said operatives were told to come to Berlin with a cache of weapons buried at an undisclosed location to attack Jewish sites across the continent. Fears are looming over a new wave of atrocities closer to home as tensions rage in the Middle East, with Israel reaching its 69th day at war with Hamas. It comes after Tel Aviv issued a chilling warning to 20 European countries over a massive network of terrorist agents operating undercover. That, this story is obviously very scary, and I think when you tie it in to the rise of anti-Semitism, which there definitely has been Ooh. throughout Europe, and you can see it, you can see it here in London, you can see it, you know, mixed with uh, these these terror attacks. I think it's something that we do need to to shine a light on and not pretend that it's not going on yeah. in some way, because certainly Jewish friends of mine are very very frightened, and they don't feel that the rest of us, you know, the non-Jewish community, quite gets it. The intelligence community uh, of the United States, Britain and Israel have long speculated what would follow in the vacuum of the destruction of Islamic State. And here we have it, the launch of Hamas International. Uh, basically, the cells have been out there for 30 years, mm -hmm. all over the world, all over Western Europe. And it's just that they're called Hamas now. And when we talk about Jewish institutions, we mean synagogues, we mean schools. There has been an uptick in security. Oh. It is a vigilance situation to drop your kids at school. Mm. There is guarding uh, at synagogues every morning, professionals as well as sort of have a go, sort of amateurs from the community as well, just looking out for fast cars or anything like ramming that's going on. Um, and just a point about the Jewish community of Western Europe, which has been in the continent and Eastern Europe for, what, uh, 1,100, 1,200 years, a bit longer as well. There are less than a million Jews in Europe. So Jews are vulnerable. Mm -hmm. God forbid something happens to a synagogue in the capital cities of London or Paris, which has the lion's share of Jewish communities in Western Europe, there will be a flood of Jewish people leaving the continent and never coming back. It is up to the non-Jewish communities of the free world to decide whether they want Jews here or not. And I think uh, I'm right in saying in Britain, uh, there are fewer than 300,000 uh, Jewish right. people living here. I mean, I live uh, in North London. I, I live among the Jewish community. Uh, many of them are my neighbors. And here's the thing, folks. Uh, they're British, you know, if you met them in the pub, you wouldn't know the damn difference. So let's stop treating them differently. Uh, all we can do, these uh, worrying reports of uh, terrorist plots all over Europe, all we can do in Britain here is to ask our government to tell the police to start sending a message that you cannot be anti-Semitic in this country. And I don't want to see any more of these pro-Palestinian marches, 150,000, 200,000 people marching through the centre of London. I've been to two of these marches. I've seen them. Actually, three, come to think of it. Uh, and uh, it's full of from the river to the sea, you know, and, and even worse, the final solution, you know, Nazi insignia over the Star of David. Uh, we need our police and we need the government to tell the police to do something about this. We have to send the message that anti-Semitism will not be tolerated. Otherwise, this is going to get worse and worse and worse. But I also think it starts with all of us and it starts with grassroots and it starts with all of us in the community, right? Because first of all, we have to be, you know, you have to have critical thinking. You cannot, you know, equate all Jewish people to being, you know, aligned with Benjamin Netanyahu or anything like that. You know, Jewish people in London, in Paris, it, they're a part of our community, a part of London, a part of the United Kingdom and should be protected. And so it starts with the grassroots and with the community, not standing for anti-Semitism. I disagree with you about the marches, Kevin, because I think we need to it's be okay able to... It's okay for them to be aligned to uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. Okay, though, wait, wait a minute. Let me be. finish. What I was going to say was I disagree about the marches because I think we need to be able to march in, march in support 
of the Jewish community, march in support of Palestinians, march in support of all the communities, because we have to remember... You disagree that, that I object to them holding signs saying... From no, the no, no, I don't disagree sea, with that or at all. covering the... I don't disagree Sarah with that David. at all. And, and you so know you that, Kevin. I, d I mean, I disagree with the fact that we should ban marches. I didn't, I completely I didn't say disagree. you should ban marches. I would really like to be able to finish what I'm saying. Yeah, I but I didn't say you should ban marches, Zappi. Kevin, did I? shush. Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Oh, well, maybe I'll come in then. Um, I think what Kevin was saying is that there needs to be tougher, my interpretation of what he was saying, tougher policing yes. on clear yeah. and egregious yes. cases on hateful of anti -Semitism. And look, this is going on all the time. I mean, my partner was on a, a TV programme a week or so ago um, in location up north, and there was a pro Hamas protest outside where this show was being recorded with people chanting from the river to the sea and worse. And they had to have extra security there and so on. We should not be tolerating any of this. Absolutely. There is, a, there is a premise to the Palestinian argument, which is anti-Israel. And so if you are marching for peace on a Palestinian rally, you have to be mindful <laughs> of the inbuilt anti-Semitism that lies within it. Yes, we can all march for peace, but I would like to see from the Palestinian side of the argument someone who uh, doesn't deny Israel's right to exist, which well, is absolutely. quite sparse yeah. absolutely. Yeah. out there. Absolutely. absolutely. I'm not... Seriously, Afi, you know, I absolutely support the right of pro-Palestinian people to have as big a marches as they want, but not if they're going to uh, start chanting from the river to the sea, et cetera, et cetera. I, I really, really... I've made a massive point all through this of saying all these protests, be they... Uh, for Israeli, pro-Israeli or pro-Palestine uh, must be allowed. We, this is a free country. Yeah, definitely. But, with, but, but within the law. Oh, absolutely. Um,